The police has secured a bench warrant to arrest 62 persons identified to have been involved in Thursday, August 18 clashes at KNUSD, which led to injuries and destruction of property. Two persons arrested in connection with the incident have been remanded in police custody when they appeared before the Asokori Mampon District Court. This brings to three the number of persons arrested. So the two accused persons who were brought before the Askorimampon District Court today include 25-year-old Daniel Osebonsu, who is an old student of KNUST, and also Francis Tutu Etuahene, who is a second-year student at the same university. Last week, Thursday, some students of Katanga and Unity Hall clash, leading to the destruction of properties and injuring of some students. At least nine vehicles were destroyed. ACP Kofi Blagoji is the head of legal and prosecution in Ashanti region. This is a matter of national interest, and our administration, police administration, is so much in touch and interested to see how the matter will end and make sure that this thing will not continue in the various institutions. We wanted to ensure that this mayhem, this impunity, will come to an end in the society. Pay the court for a bench warrant, and then the court issued a bench warrant for the arrest of the other accused persons. So the police will look for them to get them arrested and then uh, and produce them before the courts. Though counsel for the two accused persons are not satisfied with the outcome of the court ruling today because their client have been denied bail, they say they will take it in good faith and also see whether they can move to the high court to secure a bill for their client. I'm highly, highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Looking at the facts and then the charge, we think that the judge was not fair to them. But we will take it and we will advise ourselves and see the next line of action. Because we have the option to go to the high court. This is an alleged offence and then until he's proven guilty, he's deemed to be innocent. And then if by the time his, his innocence is proven, they are done with the exam, that would have been an irreparable damage caused to the education of the accused person. As I said, he's not a fly risk, he's in school. He remained in school even after the incident. He was just invited to the, by, by the police yesterday. And that was when he submitted himself and then subsequently he was arrested. So it's quite surprising that for his case, he was refused bail. But then as I said, the law is the law, so I'll take it down. All the accused persons have been charged on four counts. That's conspiracy to commit a crime, rioting with offensive weapons, causing unlawful damage, and causing harm. The police has secured a bench warrant to arrest the remaining 62 persons who have been identified to be involved in Thursday's rioting and destruction of properties. The suspects have been remanded in police custody and will reappear in court on September 8. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Askwari Mampo, Ashanti Region.